I, I wonder, does the South Middle School do this in show choir? Uh, let's ask if Shannon If they don't, Ball. they should. <laughs> Shannon Ball from the South Middle Show Choir. Good morning to you. How are you feeling today? Good morning. Great. Thank you so much for having me on. You work some Sinatra in there at any point along the way for me, Shannon? <laughs> no, it's not one of the songs this year, but mm-hmm. I'm sure I can't say if they've done it in the past or not. Very nice. Uh, Shannon, how long have you been in charge of the South Middle Show Choir? Um, I, my daughter is an eighth grader, so she has participated for sixth and seventh and eighth grade. Um, but I am the booster president of this year. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do you guys got coming up? We have our very first purse designer purse bingo, which a lot of bingos happen around the area. It is a hot trend to start on. Um, we're very excited. It's our very first one. So we will have Kate Spade, Michael Kors, and Coach Purses um, that will be the prize for the bingo games. Those are expensive purses from what I understand. Yes, and we have been reaching out and asking for businesses to give us sponsorships to help with those expenses. Um, We've had great response and we greatly appreciate our local community and all that they do. Um, We are super excited and it's at a wonderful event down at the Heritage Hall in Inwood, West Virginia. And you guys are reigning state champions, correct? We are. Yes, we are. All right. So uh, how how big is the choir this year? Do you know? This year we have 14 students, which are singer and dancers, and then we have four tech members. All right. Very nice. How much are you hoping to raise? Um, For this event, our goal is at least 5,000, but it's always a bonus if we make more. And you need the money to do what with it? Well, it it helps us pay for traveling expenses um, in reference to busing, in reference to hotels. Um, next year's costuming, anything over the summer, such as summer camps, etc. It just helps us get like a jump start into the next year. Do the schools, uh, does the system contribute any money to any of the things that you have to do? South Mill does contribute a small amount, but the majority of the fundraising has to come from the fundraising efforts of the group. John Bodwell. Well, and that's, I mean, unfortunately, that's the way it is with most activities uh, in the schools. Congratulations on being state champions. That uh, Oh, thank you I, so much. I know South Middle through the years has had a, um, has had a streak of, of many years of, of being the best. It's good that you all are keeping it up. Yeah, that talent feeds up to that good time show choir, man. Yes. Right? They are they're yes, amazing. and I've had a son through that, so... We're doing round two with the daughter. They are they are excellent. John Gilstrap. Let's talk a bit, little bit about the logistics of purse designer bingo. As soon as I as I if I get all of them across, I yell bingo. I get a purse. If you win, now you could be there could be more than one winner per game, um, and there's a way to battle that out. But if you do win the bingo game, then you do end up with a designer purse. Yeah. Well, bingo games go pretty fast. They can go fast. Um, it just depends. Some are very quick, and then some take a little bit longer. It just depends on the luck of your card. How long is the uh, How long is the event going to go on? Well, it actually starts at ten thirty is when we open the doors, and then we do have a nice full lunch that'll be served at noon, and then bingo starts at one o'clock, and it usually runs till about five o'clock. Are you going to run uh, tip jars? <laughs> uh, we are going to do special raffles, nice. um, so we will have some other extra opportunities. Yes. Yeah, some blackjack in the back there, a little roulette wheel action going on. Very nice, very nice. Well, I'm just trying to see if we can expand their audience expand to people audience. who maybe don't want purses. You know, it's a school, right? right? Yeah, come we on, are Bondo, having, keep it clean. You know, men and women attend the event, so we're very excited about that, and our students will be performing. Why don't they have wallet bingo for men, Shannon? Yeah, well, you know, that's an idea. We Next could year. always propose that. So what's on the program? The choir's going to be singing. What songs, not all of them, but an example of, of what's on the program? Um, they will probably be singing at least two songs out of the show from this current year. Um, we just haven't finalized in reference to what's two because we want to make sure that we spread the kids out so the entire section of Heritage Hall can hear them. Um, so we are finalizing the program as we speak. Very good. And again, one final shot. Give us the logistics, uh, the fundraiser, the location, time, day, and any uh, any money that people need to bring. Yes. So the tickets are $30 a piece. It is on Sunday, March 19th, 
starts at 1030. The doors will open. Lunch is at noon. Bingo begins at 1. It is held at Heritage Hall in Inwood, West Virginia. They can contact myself, Shannon Ball. My phone number is 304-886-4921. Or they can email me at smforshey1 at comcast.net. They can reach me on Facebook. They can go to the South Spirit Facebook, message us that way. We'll be more than happy to reach out and make sure they get a ticket. Shannon, thank you so much. I appreciate it, and keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much for this opportunity. You guys have a great day. You You too. too.